You see it? It's the invisible airplane. <laughs> all of you guys have commented, all, all three of you guys have commented that you wanted an invisible airplane. So what do we need for an invisible airplane? Well, airplane, and it needs to be invisible. We can do that with a sheet of clear transparency overhead and make an airplane that is invisible. So I'm gonna show you how to make an invisible RC airplane with the most minimum amount of effort. Because to get a passing grade, I just need to make an invisible RC airplane. I have some translucent plastic. I'm gonna fold this transparency film and we're gonna strap some electric motors to it and go fly it. Invisible airplane, very exciting. Electronics, go. Invisible airplane with visible electronics. At least the airframes themselves will be invisible on all these airplanes because that's transparency. <laughs> so it looks like this. This is basically cheating. Isn't that cool? You can see the sun through the airplane. <laughs> it technically fills the role of invisible airplane. And we flew it around, but it's not very exciting. Look, it's invisible. <laughs> Do you see it? Barely. <laughs> so that's cheating. So I'm going to introduce a criteria to our problem. I mean, is that how you spell criteria? What it needs to look like? It needs to look like an airplane. And it needs to actually fly and be invisible. So we made this plane out of this flimsy plastic. However, I can't make anything structural out of this. So we typically make planes out of foam board. Most of my designs on this channel are foam board or some sort of derivative of this because it's stiff, it's lightweight, it's strong, and it's cheap. Great for an airplane. As you can see, it weighs 39 grams. Not a whole lot, and it flies great. The equivalent design cut out of acrylic weighs 450 something grams. It's a lot, it's extremely heavy. It's more than quadruple the weight of the foam board plane. That was the dry weight of the airframes. We have to add a little bit of weight to the nose to get the airplanes to bounce on the center of gravity. For most of my projects, we always do this because airplanes are very, very picky when it comes to where they balance. So I need to get the plane to bounce about right here. So we add a little bolt to the wings. This is going to become a problem because this airframe is light. The other airframe is extremely heavy. And this is going to be a common theme when we design our bigger clear airplanes. It's just going to be awful because the airframe itself is extremely heavy over here to balance out this fulcrum. We have to add even more weight to the front. So it goes well beyond the initial 450 grams. It's probably 669 grams. It's cursed. Simple lightweight one. This one flies really well. And to no surprise, this is probably going to be awful. As you can see, the plane has to go into a diet. How to do that? Lightning holes. Can you see what's going on here? I think what I'm gonna do is put some packing tape to kind of like form like the skin like they do in covering like model airplanes. It'll be clear. Well, this is too easy. So I made this. Well, it's done. It's honestly still kind of heavy though. I put wheels and everything on. I put all the electronics in the front because the center of gravity, which is the bounce point for the airplane, very important for every single flying thing I build. It's still a little on the possibly tail heavy side, but it's close to being okay. So the only thing to do is to just try and fly it. <laughs> it's going to explode to a gazillion pieces. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Ready? Okay, we're in the air. It flies awfully. <laughs> oh no. Well, it clearly didn't fly very good. <laughs> Did I mention? I'm using OnShape for this project. If you guys want to check out all the files, you can check them out. It's a cloud-based CAD program, so you don't have to like download anything to your computer. I'm actually just in here modifying the values because I literally just put some dimension lines and I'm changing the thing really fast so we can make this again. So I made this with values like, oh, this is 20. Let's change this real fast. So it will just adjust my drawing, update everything, and then bam, we just hit the laser and cut it out. So this will actually won't take that long to rebuild because I only broke some pretty big components that are easy to fix. Whoa, would you look at that? I can't clearly see what's wrong with this airplane. <laughs> it's pretty much invisible. Look at my foot. You can see my foot right through the airplane's wing. Clear plane V2. All right, uh, let's see how this goes. I'm just gonna go ahead and hand launch it again. 
Oh, oh, come on. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's clear. <laughs> it's fast. It flies bad. It flies really bad. But it's actually pretty visible. Like, I can still see it. I mean, obviously I can see the wheels and stuff. So that checks out. But the airframe itself, translucent. Yeah, I wow. buttered it. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, there you go. Clear airplane, but is this really good enough for me? I don't think so. Those three criteria were actually just still a little bit too easy. So let's add two more. It needs to fly well, and it needs to have a real fuselage and real airfoil. Because I just love punishing myself here, and we're going to do this again until I have a mental breakdown. <laughs> definitely getting harder my laser machine is dying and it's no longer cutting through my acrylic this stuff is fragile it keeps breaking all the joints are busted Dave, take a look at this. Ooh, it's see-through. <laughs> Between all the CAD work and the cutting and the snapping of tons of pieces, this is what we have. And it's actually pretty light. Like, compared to like a cargo plane that I built before, this is actually pretty reasonable. I'm sure this is going to fly actually really good. Because we've flown two models. First one flew okay. Second one flew like trash because it was too heavy. But my last and final criteria for this big model is it has to fly good and also be transparent. I think we're on track for that if it doesn't crash. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get it with this. Laser cutter is dying, which is not great, because we have to laser cut more of these pieces, and it's taking forever. This took like, I'm like not kidding, like five hours to make this. Oh, it looks so cool though. For all of you that went to school, you remember like if you're a boomer like me, they had those rolling projectors that the teacher would roll, they would laser print the assignment on them, and you would come and write on them with these little green markers and stuff, and you had to like use alcohol to clean them off. This is that transparency film. This is literally what I thought of. I was like, you know what? I learned all this stupid stuff in school, but I learned that transparency material is pretty lightweight, and I can cut it on my laser and put it into this airframe. Now, I laser cut the wings. Why are these little circles in here? Well, these are called lightning holes or lightning squares in this particular instance, and this is because I'm trying to lighten the structure up as much as possible, because the less weight the plane has, the less stress on the airframe. And the less stress on the airframe, the less likely it is to break these fragile plastic wing spars, which are not meant to carry any sort of load. Well, we're carrying load anyways. This isn't coming out, so I likely, I'm gonna very gently put some pressure on it until it falls out without breaking the surrounding structure. Like I was saying, I've removed the pieces and now I have to put some structural glue, very structural, on the surrounding surfaces. And yeah, that, that that's great. That's not gonna break in flight. Okay, let me rethink this. Acrylic is very fragile, and if you smack it very sharply, it'll probably break. See, look at that. I popped it right out. And I didn't break it. Like, using the pliers to slowly trying to massage it out, it ended up destroying the whole thing. But if I just take this thing and swiftly stab it with my hammer, it falls right out. I'm going to have to really be careful when I fly this, because if I have too much of a load on it at all, I think it's going to break immediately and be very bad. Oh no. Watch that light. Oh, I just fall. Dave? <laughs> yeah, it dropped the light on my plane. You know, I was so sure I would crash this plane in flight. Turns out the caravan man is the one who destroyed the airplane. So, this is our wing spar. Really, it's loaded like this. You can really see it. it'll deflect a little bit before it shatters, and the ribs should really hold in place. And I'm putting quite a bit of tension on this, so it's not deconstructing itself just yet i think it'll, it might be okay i'm gonna put a strut here too and it, sh it should be all right we could probably fly with this i don't think it's gonna fail catastrophically just yet <laughs> Be 
behold, the clear cargo plane. Oh wait, that's the wrong one. It's right here and it's amazing looking. Look at it. It's totally invisible. This looks freaking sweet. I have a pretty good feeling because I just felt the weight of that plane. That's the uh, E-Flight cargo plane. This weighs very similar, has a very similar wing area, so it should fly very well. If not fly better than that one because I think this is actually a little bit lighter. However, that plane is extremely durable compared to this thing, which if this touches the ground in any other manner other than landing, it is probably going to explode into a million little pieces. It's a little bit tail heavy, and I got the battery taped pretty far forward. Oh, I know, the perfect thing for some ballast. <laughs> Look at this, I have some ballast for our cockpit. Is it even called a cockpit anymore? Yeah, I don't want, I don't want this cargo moving around so I can get some tape. All right, we got the invisible safety belt on, which is the Scotch brand packing tape. Hey, that's much better. All right, we should be able to fly now. This is clear plane number three, the most complicated, most time consuming airframe of them all. I'm gonna be actually kind of salty if this thing crashes. It took a long time to build it. Here we go. Oh, it's in the air. <laughs> can you see it, Dave? Uh, I can see the reflections. It doesn't really fly good. <laughs> like it wanders around. I think I need bigger rudder. But it is flyable. <laughs> Yeah, the rudder is definitely small because like, it doesn't track very good, but I had to do it to kind of save some weight. Yeah, fly good. It's clear. It's hard to see. <laughs> it's a little confusing. <laughs> you almost crashed it. <laughs> like right now, I'm very confused. like these sweet aerials that I'm getting, I've been getting a lot better at flying FPV. If you want to check this out, go to getfpv.com and you can check out this drone and other FPV related accessories because FPV is pretty sick and I'm having a good time with all this drone stuff. This thing is so disorientating when you're trying to make a turn. I can't really tell which direction I'm in. <laughs> okay, well that was awesome, but I have something even more cooler. Look at this, this is a three axis head tracking setup. It's like from Cadex, but anyways, GetFV gave me this thing too. So we're gonna put this in there and I'm actually gonna get an invisible airplane FPV experience. Okay, we're gonna check out this new system. Steven, what do you think? It's pretty tight. Pretty tight. All right, let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> You can look all the way around. Oh my God. <laughs> this is pretty... Oh, no, you can't do it. Not all the way around, but you can't yeah. do full 360, but you can look like almost behind you. I'm seeing clear transparency. <laughs> it's more transparent than our government. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do you some aerobatics. All right, let me know how it feels. All right, let's do a loop. Oh, very nice. <laughs> I'm following his leader. <laughs> Alright, so I did you a loop, so I gotta do you a loop again. Alright, let's see. 
cheese, dude. It, it They're putting me in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do a roll. I'm gonna do right. your roll. Oh god, roll sloppy as roll. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take it up high, then I'm gonna hand you the controller. Right. See what you have. Because this plane doesn't fly good, and you're like. It's inside of it. It's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Steve, hand me your hands. Where's? Here you go. You have it. I, I got it. I have the controls. <laughs> How does it feel? It feels like crap. <laughs> I mean, you're flying. <laughs> it's so bad, dude. <laughs> you're getting far away. Come closer. Know, she's like, I, I can't really recover because I can't see what the airplane's doing. I just see these tiny black wheels. Is it all is I can quite really challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I got no no artificial horizon. I got no gauge clusters. I when got no airspeed. When you have full transparent view of your surroundings, I do have full transparency. <laughs> all right, see if you can figure out and land it. All right, okay, let's go. All right, you're cleared let's for go. the approach. You're just slipping and sliding through the air. <laughs> God. Dude, this is, I, the batteries, I can't see through the floor. <laughs> I'm going around, I'm going around. Okay. Well, let me know if you want me to land it. No, I got this. <laughs> All right, it looks good. Your approach looks fine. Just bring the power down. All right, power down. Don't forget to flare. <laughs> I said, don't forget to flare. <laughs> I <laughs> wasn't bad at all. I'll take it. You know what they say, any landing you can walk away from. All right, clear airplane. Clearly it's a bad idea. <laughs> it does fly, it doesn't fly very good. Yeah, I don't know, this is a stupid idea, but hey, clear airplane, we're done, so. Let me know in the comments what you wanna see next, cause I'm, I'm always listening to your comments and mostly likely ignoring them.